Hi YouTube. Of course anybody can watch this video but this video is mainly dedicated to my uh, friend Mike. I promised him a couple of weeks ago that I'd show him some comics that I bought. Well actually graphic, graphic novels, that's what they're called. Anyways, this is Star Wars Omnibus a long time ago, volume 2. And as you can see, it's got a picture of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader on the front dueling it out. It's a great comic. It follows the further adventures of Han Solo. Catching up with what they imagined Jabba the Hutt would look like before he was actually shown in Return of the Jedi. And the real highlight of this comic... I'll show you. Well, it gets further and further into Darth Vader's pursuit of Luke Skywalker and whatever. All leading up to The Empire Strikes Back. Which, I believe, is on page 156, I think. Anyways, I do recommend this book. A lot of great characters. Like the House of Tag. And Baron Tag's sister. It's a long story, but it, it's it's a good set. It's a good series. I had quite a few of these as a kid. Oh yes, here it is. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Comic 39, September 1980. That's the opening page. And that's the comic book version of the uh, title screen. There's Luke Skywalker observing the fall of the meteor, or what he thinks is a meteor. There he is getting attacked by the Wampa snow creature. And there's their adventures in the Rebel base. And the Millennium Falcon in the hangar and Han approaching Chewie. Luke freeing himself from the ice monster, his lair. The ghost of Ben Kenobi. Snow speeders and okay. We're getting more and more into it and here is the Imperial probe being destroyed. And then uh well, just before that, it briefly reported to its Star Destroyer, and Darth Vader was listening in. Battleground Hoth. There's Luke recovering from his uh, wound. There's Vader's Star Destroyer. And there he is, killing one of his incompetent subordinates. And there's the result of the ion cannon firing on a Star Destroyer. And there's the Rebel Trenches. And of course... Point Rider 3-5 Echo Defense, enemy contact, enemy contact, Imperial Walkers advancing on our position. Dun 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 and of course the snow battle and of course tripping the walkers with a tow cable any Empire Strikes Back fan would have to see that Imperial Pursuit dun 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 you'll have to forgive my crude rendition of the Star Wars theme. There's Darth Vader entering the Rebel base. There's the Millennium Falcon trying to escape.
there it is entering the asteroid and here is the Marvel introduction of Boba Fett Boos Boosk and Dengar I think oh yes and here we see oh no not IG-88 yet no Luke's on Dagobah getting training Now, as you can see, it's pretty much got the whole Empire Strikes Back. I'll show you the last few pages of the Empire. Betrayal at Bespin. But circumstances have developed which will ensure security. You see, I've just made a deal that'll keep the Empire out of here forever. Oh, really, Lando? Sorry, friend. I had no choice. They arrived right before you did. Dan, dan, da -da -dan. Dan, dan, da -dan. Yeah, whatever. My friend. To duel a dark lord. This is after Han's been put in the car or placed in the car night. As you can see, as you can really appreciate. The artwork in this comic is just fabulous. It's amazing. And Mike, I'm surprised you never had this when you were younger. I strongly suggest you get a copy of it. You'd love it. It'd be great for your collection. And that was The Empire Strikes Back. One more thing. Actually, two more things I wanted to show you. Here is the Die Hard comic that I was telling you about. See, it actually does look a little like Bruce Willis on the front, doesn't it? And then he crawls around in tunnels and everything. By the way, this is Die Hard Year One Volume Two. Anyways, it's quite the adventure. It is an excellent book. Very much like the like the Die Hard movie. Anyways, I don't really have time to go into the full comic book there with you. I did spend quite a bit of time on the Transformers. But I'm sure you can appreciate the artwork in that. One last thing I wanted to show you. Where is he? One day while on the job at Chapters, look what I managed to find. Look very carefully. It's a pretty convincing little tank, but I'm sure you recognize it. Obviously by the uh, symbol on the front. the Transformer Generation 1 Warpath. You might remember him from the cartoon. Sam Bowie Wham Blitzwing, thank you! Anyway, 
he's pretty convincing in this tank mode. He looks pretty good. I remember having him as a child, but uh, I completely, totally lucked out finding him in, in the store chapters. Finders Keepers, unfortunately. Poor kid. Anyways, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Take care, buddy, and blam, wowie, zam, blast, you Decepticons. Bye-bye.